Vivian, do you have any uh, funny stories about your, your experiences at Corbett Hall in the 1990s? I have a couple. Um, I arrived towards the end of August and I was very new and had to learn all about the educational system in Canada. And um, a student stopped me outside the, in the corridor outside the department one day and he said to me most earnestly, reading my name badge, um, Dr. Hollis. He said, is 107 in 259? And I thought, I have no clue what Albertans are talking about. What language is this? So that took me a while to, to come to terms with. I had to learn all of that. Um, and the second was my first St. Patrick's Day. Again, walking up and down the corridors and the students were talking about green beer and they were selling green cupcakes. And I stopped to have a conversation with them because as you know, I'm Irish, and I was telling them that in Ireland we don't do that. We um, have parties and uh, we go to dances, but we don't dress in mad outfits and we don't uh, eat, drink green beer. Um, although I do have to say a lot of beer would be consumed on St. Patrick's night. Um, and so I was telling them this and saying that the experience here was so different. And so, bless their hearts, they invited me out on a pub crawl with them. Um, and would I like to join them in O'Burns as for the start of the pub crawl? So I didn't know what to say. I need to say I didn't go. I was tempted, but I didn't go. <laughs> what advice would you give OT students? What I would say to those in the programme and to future um, um, and to practitioners, I suppose, uh, would be just to stick with it. We've got a wonderful career that's quite deep and very broad, so we can go into lots of areas of practice and we can go into lots of um, job opportunities, clinical, managerial, academic, research. We've got a number of options. And so if one doesn't suit, others would. Uh, and sometimes the profession itself, the practice of it, is not easy. We're not always easily understood, but just to stick with that. Um, and you heard me say this when I was teaching, but I think it's true for students and practitioners that uh, strong timber doesn't grow with ease. It takes strong winds to make strong trees. I think that's so true of, um, of students and practitioners in occupational therapy. Well, thank you for sharing your experience with me today. Thank you for dropping by, Christine.